Hi everybody, Nathan Hall here. Today's lesson, we're going to look at world music. I'm sure by now you've either had Miss Simpson's class or you are about to take Miss Simpson's class. So here's what we're going to look at. We're going to focus on Spanish music, something a little more distinct. And a big thing we'll look at too, open-ended questions. You just had these on the PSSA, you're going to have them coming up again. You will have them pretty much, well, as far as you have school. <laughs> and after that, through all your life. So we're going to compare, we're going to talk about songs, and we're going to answer questions related to world music. So when you think of Spanish music, probably think of guitars, great looking people with a lot to it. So a big thing to note here is that Spanish is the language of Latin American music. So we're going beyond the borders of just Spain. Big word to know is rhythm. Rhythm is what makes something a song. No rhythm, it's noise. Rhythm repeats. It's got a beat. So what makes a Spanish rhythm? That's what we'll talk about. So we're starting with flamenco, one of our words. Came from southern Spain. The three parts, the canta, the song, the baila, the dance, and the guitarra, the guitar playing. How did it come from Spain to the United States? Uh, one instrument commonly used in flamenco, the castanets. Click, 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 click. How you do your percussion. Another one, the tango. Lots of different instruments. Violin, piano, double bass, this big thing, clarinet, and flute. Again, a lot of the dancing. Very dramatic, emotional style of music. Another one, Tejano. We did an activity on Selena way back a long time ago. <laughs> we might do one more before the pod ends. So lightest, most whimsical, most fun of the Spanish ones. Just good music, a lot of fun, can be kind of interesting. Whimsical is not a vocabulary word yet, but it will be. Infused, we've talked about fusion with reggaeton, so mixing things together. So it open-ended, how's it different? How How's it similar? Closed ended, you see the example there. So Zazuela, we'll look at too. It's kind of music with dialogue, people talking. But you've never seen this one before. I didn't before I did this lesson. And another one, this is a word for Miss Simpson's class. Percussion, boom, ba -da boom. The beating, the drums. So, quick question, do they speak Spanish in Brazil? This is a closed question. Curious what you guys know about that. And then Latin jazz. Probably what your grandfather listens to. <laughs> it's almost nothing like American jazz. We'll talk about the differences. Another word that came up with reggaeton we're using again, complement, complete. The salsa music. When would you see people salsa dancing? Lots of possibilities. So the thing to remember, open-ended. This is those why questions. I always ask you why. When you change your answer, I still ask why. Close-ended, yes or no. You'll see more of these throughout high school. Vocabulary words you'll have to know up through complement will be on the activity below and other places. Be sure you learn them. And then we'll just talk about this in live class. A nice open-ended question to end it all on. So, any questions, come to the live class. We will do more writing and opinion writing through the end of the year. Just get your skills up. That's all for now. Come to the live class or find me in English Cafe if you have any questions.